love the woods, the quiet, the solitude. Have lived and worked there all of my life. Forestry service, security, retired. Working there, living there, it's not without its challenges. There are some dangers. I tell you, one afternoon I went to see a friend who was a little under the weather. I wanted to bring her some firewood and some banana nut bread. She's a fellow retiree, forestry service technician. She said her granddaughter was, was coming over and she was bringing a basket of her mama Ellen's feather-like biscuits and some, some fresh butter. Wonderful child. Her grandmother doted on her. Even made her a little cape with a hood. Now knowing the biscuits were on the way, I made us a pot of tea and waited there with her for a while when suddenly there was a knock on the door and someone squealed, Grandma! I happened to look out of the window and noticed that it was a wolf disguising his voice. Hungry looking wolf. That situation could have gone south pretty quickly if we hadn't been swapping old work stories and having ourselves a cup of tea that afternoon. Now I have had both good and bad encounters with wolves. Same as with people. You just have to stay sharp. So if you should happen upon an encounter in the woods, remember, it's more what someone does than what they say. That particular wolf was never gonna settle for what was in that basket. To that kind of wolf, I say, I will see you, whatever the form. I will know who you are. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. I won't keep making the same misstep. Remember me? Once upon a time, I too had a little red hat. Did that story sound familiar? If you thought it was Little Red Riding Hood, you're right. It was a retelling of Little Red Riding Hood from the point of view of Leela Woods, a retired forestry service worker, the woodman in some of the versions of the stories. This week's challenge is, and then what happened, the monologue. This is a storytelling challenge to create a retelling of a timeless story in this case, Little Red Riding Hood, you will be telling the story as a monologue in the person of one of the characters in the story. Now, a monologue is a, a passage of a play or, or a movie that's spoken by one actor or one person. Here's how this one works. Let's look at the story again. We all know it. Here's a question. Besides the first one you heard as a child, is there any other version of this story that you know? What happens in the different tellings with the grandmother or what happens with the wolf? Usually there is a narrator, someone outside of the story telling the story. How would the story go if one of the characters was telling it? Red, her mother, the wolf, the grandmother? Maybe someone we didn't even know was in the story. Here's where you come in. Choose one of the characters in the story. Then look in a magazine or online to find a picture of what you think that character might look like. Create a history and some backstory for your character. There's a link below for you to, to get you started on that. Finally, given what you know or you have created for your character, retell the story in first person as that character. Be sure to write down your monologue as you work on it. Share your monologue by writing it or telling it in a video. We love the telling it part. Then send it to us via Facebook Messenger to the Avondale Library Facebook page. There's a link right here. We can't wait to hear and see your stories. <laughs>